Hello world, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 0 0.19. Yes, 0 0.19 came out this weekend, and they had a few treats for us. So let's have a look at them. Let's have a good little look for them. I've had a little bit of a play. First off, you're going to notice is we've got a new uh, a new probe, a uh, new probe body. It's a little flat octo, um, octo two, in fact. Let's see how she is sized to the old octo. She's a fair bit smaller. Handy, handy dandy, and something just randomly, as you can see, they've all got like they've all got their brand marks on now, which is pretty cool. Uh, do you have one? Yes, you have a Stay Putnik Mark II mark on it. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's funky. Any of these bits got? I don't think these will be. Nah, these don't have any additions to them. It's just the probes. But yeah, cool, huh? Yeah, that's the first part. Let's go see if we got anything new in propulsion. I've had a little look, I don't think we have. No, we don't. Control? Nope. Structure. Now, of course, we've got the rove, the rover mate. The rove mate. Now, this is uh, obviously part, partly thought of from looking at the curiosity body shell thing, which is pretty cool. And it has a very small, well, it's got 25 electrical charge in it. It's got a battery in it, which is cool. Very handy with some, a new stack separator. Selecting the largest of rockets in twain. Cool. Didn't we have a big one? We didn't. Oh, I guess we didn't have a big one, did we? No, we didn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never needed to stack separate the payload that large, but I can see how that would be handy, having a 2.5 meter one. And radial attachment point. This will help a lot of people out, actually. Um, basically, radial attach something, and then you've got a node. So, uh... You know, do whatever you want to your heart's content with that one. <laughs> yeah, and then of course we've got structural parts. We've got a micro node. Uh, I haven't tried this with the little small docking ports on actually. We'll see. Um, see what she looks like. It might actually be a bit too small. It might just be a structural thing. Yeah, it's just a structural thing. And by structure, I mean, what do you mean, Stimpies? Okay. Well, if we just put this on... Hey, we uh, we put a node up here. This will help us. Uh, eh. Eh, 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 eh. Come on, rotate properly for me. Yay! We can attach our struts. So those ones fit nicely. So, uh, think of it as a nice little joint for your strutting. Strutting your stuff. That's cool. Trussing. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. We've also got a couple of structural panels, which is handy. We've got like this little meterish one, I think. It doesn't give an extra size. One by one, and then two by two. These are quite handy. You can make a lot of things with those. And then we've got a plate piece here. These have got nodes at the ends of each other, so uh, that's helpful. And this is a couple of I beams, a little pocket edition, and then a much bigger one. Handy dandy. And that is all the extra parts and structural. Now that's quite an array of parts. You can make a lot of nice stuff with that. Anything in here? No. Didn't see anything. Utility. Brand new battery. The Z400. Uh, it looks like a huge flat battery. That's cool. And I, I really like how that looks. It's brilliant. That's my favorite battery now. Yeah. That uh, 400 opposed to the 100 of this regular. So it's as the name implies, the Z100, four of those is equal to uh, one of these. And they take up kind of about the same amount of space, kind of. So, uh, yeah, that's alright. Um, and then we've got the good stuff, the really good stuff. Wheels got in. We've got these absolutely humongous wheels, which are like meant for your, um, your, your rocket things. What do you call them? What do you call them? I don't know what you call them. Those big old moving launch platforms. Uh, you can also use them for huge bases and stuff. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Then, on the other end of the spectrum, very tiny little rover wheels. You know, um, heavily inspired by the looks of it off, off, off of um, the various Mars rovers that have existed over the time. And then we've got... Uh, these ones are kind of meant for your proper Kerbals. The 
regular rubber wheels. That's pretty cool. These are like full suspension and they pop and everything. They're awesome. Awesome. Brilliant stuff. The chair didn't make it in. Um, that's probably going to be 0 0.20 by the looks of it now. Um, they're going to be a little chair so you could build a rover and mount the chair on it so your kerbals can go sooner. That's pretty funky. And anything in here? Nope, that's it. Alright, so we're going to go... Um, we're going to go play with some toys. Now, Siski seems pretty happy there. As you can see, um, the little Kerbal animations are in, that's cool. So they're having a little bit of fun now. I um, wonder if we can see him playing around inside. Hey dude! Oh, their arms don't move inside yet, that would be cool. That's the next step. Um, to have them moving on the inside as well, that would be awesome. Um, but it's quite a nice little get up going there. We're kind of going at a bit of an angle here. This is a very simple little rover I made. Uh, under slung, regular battery, but as you can see, handling's a little bit off because we've blown a wheel. So, uh, extend the ladder. Harrison, get out. You got a job to do, mate. You gotta go repair this thing. And the collider's up here somewhere, so, yep, and repair wheel. Yay! Instant repair, that's awesome. That's the kind of interaction I like. Need some tool sounds and to take a little longer, I think, though. Just for my own sanity. But, uh, yeah, we're roving. And as you can see, all the wheels wheels have steering. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, little interface. You've got uh, locking. You can lock the steering so that it don't steer. Disable the motor and invert the steering. So, you know, let's invert the steering for these for a minute. And we should kind of crab. Yeah. <laughs> That's funky. Yeah. That's weird. Do a little bit of strafe crab. That's funky. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's actually lock the steering on these back ones. Okay, cool. Now we're... Whoa! Oh! Okay. <laughs> She's kind of stuck. Oh, get over! Ooh. Okay. Get over! She doesn't want to get over brakes, and yes, that was not bad recovery. I don't think. Um, yeah, we just got that two by two uh, structural plate underneath, and the wheels are, and headlights are mounted on it. Yeah, kind of uh, pretty cool. We seem to be enjoying the ride. Um, she flips up a bit, but you know she's kind of a wide little thing. And I think we can also probably go a bit slower if we disable the motor on these front ones. Pay no attention to those. <laughs> Having a bit of fun here. Yeah, um, so, I mean, that's a very simple rover there. Solar panels. Yay. Alright, let's, uh, let's move off, because we've got something, I think, to show these kerbals. And, uh, basically, get off, guy. When we get the little chairs, um, you'll be able to build something like this. Now this is a little bit huge because scaling is an issue with Kerbals, of course, and I didn't put a ladder on. Damn! But I used—I uh, actually used upside-down ladders here and uh, solar panel blocks to make little chair shapes, just for the moment. Can we get that ladder? Oops, sorry, guy. Breaking your neck. Okay. Okay. Well, we're on this guy anyway. Are those lights, lights off. But uh, you will be able to make just general rovers, and I was trying to—I was trying to do the moon rover kind of thing here. Not exact model here, but uh, we've got two of the things here. This is um, this is actually two by six of the one sized um, structural plate um, because where is it? Um, in one of these corners here it is. This is actually the probe probes the the probe cube. It's just in this one corner. Um, so yeah, but you know we got lights, headlights. We've got all the science equipment. A couple of fake chairs. Um, but you know, when there are real chairs, it's going to be a lot of fun. And now, since we're over here, let's show off the new runway. How cool is this, huh? Nice sloped edges. Not the safest still, but and lights. We're going to have to see whether those lights actually uh, actually work. But new runway looks pretty cool. Runway lights too. That look like they work. We'll have to. Yeah, we'll, we'll fly a plane at night in a moment. But uh, we're going to just use this rover to go over and check out a new toy. Even this, this is huge compared to this guy. But uh, Oh! Oops! Sorry, guy! 
Oh, good fun. Let's crash it. Rawr! Boosh! Alright, this is actually the first one I made. Uh, it's a six-wheeler. Um, I haven't disabled the drive on this one, so lock steering. Lock steering. It's probably a good idea to action key these to save yourself some time, but you know. Lock steering and disable motor. Disable motor. And we're using the I beams underneath here as our main is our main structure here and we've got this kind of uh, tube triangle kind of shape here with the plates with uh, quite a large power supply of batteries to run the headlights and the tail light. And we're going to use this to uh, go in Vista Magate. And I've got no struts on it because it kind of bows out under time acceleration. So, oh, bit of drift. Bit of drift. Now, the astute observer. Oh wow, look, he's so happy. <laughs> look at that little grin on his face. Aww. Um, the astute observer will notice that there is no longer a launch tower. It's because we have a new runway as well. How cool is that, huh? And uh, that's a little probe there. I'll show him in a sec. But new runway. Um, nicer ramp. Uh, the ground is a little bit better, as you can see. It's colliding, so you're not sinking in. Um, blast pit. That's cool. Pops their front wheels. Okay, maybe not. We'll, we'll go check it out with the probe. That's fine. This is Qbert. He is a cube robot. The idea is this is a probe, as you can see, he's got parachutes on there. And uh, two batteries there, kind of inverted on each other, folded. Make this little structural box. And you just drop him on a planet. That's pretty cool. And in the core here, he's got a um, radio thermal generator keeping him going. But I like his little bug face. Isn't he cute? <laughs> he's like, be <laughs> Yeah, he's a funky little guy. Let's extend his aerials. And just for you guys, I'll extend both aerials this time. <laughs> meep, meep. It's a cool little thing. And as you've uh, probably noticed from the burst wheels, they've all got a uh, damage thing. And the astute adventurer, I keep saying the word astute, but basically um, these things actually have collisions now, so uh, we'll probably hit that and break something. No, we didn't break anything. That's okay. That's cool. Let's see if we can break the wheels. Um, we got him stuck upside down. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, but this is basically just two eye beams coming off the sides of the probe and then bits detached, so... Yeah, um... What else is there to take a look at? Alright, well, this is just a little linky man. We're using that new little tiny flap thing in there, but basically we're gonna we're gonna dock this with a another one of itself. And we're just gonna see our handles with, like, multiple joints and everything. And careful. Careful, careful, careful. Let's do this properly, shall we? <laughs> careful. Slowly now, slowly. Okay, one vehicle. She's kind of turning. Probably should disable disable some steering on the central ones, but she's turning and she's not that bad actually. Um, yes, disable these inner wheels. Lock steering. Lock steering. Lock steering. Oh, oh, we hit the light. Okay. Oh no, she handles all right, but uh, let's uh, kill the dead weight. <laughs> yeah, good fun. Meep meep. Man, it takes a while to crush that thing. This thing might buckle. It's made of plates and bits. No? Huh. Oh, ripped something off. Oh, I broke the solar panels off of the box. That's the chair. We're pushing it along all right, actually. Huh. Funky. Okay, let's go take a look at other things. You know, that's just the structural plates clipped in a bit. Uh, taking off the uh, snap to angles, you can get some interesting shapes. I like it. I like it. Now we're going to uh, we're going to bring this thing back for re-entry. I'm going to take the whole thing in just to see the uh, the burning effects. Uh, there's no heat model in, from what I can tell right now. So bring that back down so we land somewhere nicely. Um, 
rotates that way. Yeah, about there, that's nice. Okay, let's go start to uh, burn. What do you think? It's probably going to start when we hit this blue bit, I think. I wonder if there's sound effects. That'll be cool. It's going backwards just for some effect. Always happy about coming back. What a Mac kiss. Nothing yet, but we're coming up to that. Uh, here it comes. I want to see the worry on his face when it happens, if that's going to happen. He is really enjoying that. I like all that. That's really good. Come on. Here it comes. He's loving it. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. That's awesome. Look at him. Can we see anything out the window? Uh, looks kind of shit out the window. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't look too good at all there, does it, like that. Great effect out here. Up here. A little bit mank. But uh, I really like the glow on that. It's really cool. And it's dissipating now. That's cool. That's awesome. It's coming off. Awesome. And we're traveling relatively good speeds here, too. Awesome. I don't know that. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I won't be uh, updating uh, Kerbal Space Program to 0.19. Um, we might update to like 21 or 22 when like the resource system is fully entirely implemented. I'm just guessing. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna mess up campaign mode just for uh, some fancy effects and some wheels. We've already got wheels, mod wheels. They're not as good. But did that parachute just die? No, it's still there. That's cool. All right, let's get this guy back down. No, oh, look at me, he's a little waving. Anyway, hope you had a hope you enjoyed this and um have fun with 0 0.19. I hope you had a easier time downloading it than I did. It took me quite a while. Uh I'm Stimpy, this is Kerbal Space Program. Bye!